get that bag and you can get it. Is it my computer? Come to the end over here and leave mom and dad alone for a minute. I have no idea. We're not from here. I, I literally saw the car and I couldn't make, I have no idea. Good morning, and we just finished our breakfast. The kids were enjoying listening to Alexa, as you guys can see, we set that one up, but I have been catching up on my TV shows. I downloaded this app, that way I could catch up on my phone. So I was cooking breakfast, catching up. It's called Phil Philo, Philo? I think it's called Philo. Leave a link down below, go download it. It has like a million different TV networks. I was watching Teen Mom. It has everything on there that I watch personally. Anyway, that's what I was doing. Shout out to Philo for sponsoring. It's just an app, you click it. And then I got this super cute Mickey Mouse stand that I've been using so it looks like this and it's only $16 a month for 38 channels instead of whatever the heck you pay for your cable bills but you can watch it on almost anything and record all of your favorite shows so I think I'm all caught up on Teen Mom officially now I just need to catch up on Big Brother and those are really the two shows that I watch like religiously so anyway we're gonna finish cleaning up our breakfast mess I'm not gonna clean up all that day you're gonna come in here and clean it up and then we're gonna get ready to go today we're going to San Francisco I talked in one of my recent videos about how I'm taking these kids and we're exploring different parts of California. So today we're gonna do San Francisco. We've got a couple different fun things to do, so it should be fun. So you guys, I taught Alexa a joke. Do you guys want to see it? Alexa, what do you call a three hump to camel? Pregnant. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> From Zootopia, if you guys have never seen Zootopia, Wait, you guys me, gotta go get it. Alexa, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the call that tried to be a comedian? I could put a His jokes were so bad he had to move away. He had to move away. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye bye. I don't think the kids are excited one bit about Mimi coming. The second she pulled up, they all ran over to her. I think she's wearing her What's Up fam merch. Mimi's representing. It looks like you finally got your limited edition merch, huh? She swear she was like one of the last people to get it. She's like, where's my merch at? I think we're finally packed up, headed off. Minus this one who thinks that she's sitting back there. Addie. Look at her. She's like buckling and everything. She's like, don't worry guys, I'm safe back here. Look at her. She's literally buckling it. I'm so hot. I had to take my shirt off my long sleeve shirt in San Francisco it's like always cold and here it's like 110 degrees so I feel bad because all these kids are like wearing long sleeves and pants but it's just like from the door to the car and then that's it and then we're good but I'm dying I'm trying to buckle everybody in their seats and I'm not doing well did you bring a jacket yeah. okay good we're packing the big shoulder this time because we keep forgetting it everywhere that we go and I'm tired of this little crappy umbrella shoulder that sucks at being a stroller all together and doesn't have anywhere to put anything and you can't even push it. Ugh. It's super cute, I love it to death, but it's annoying and not functional. I guess we were planning on leaving this door wide open. We did it, we're officially on our way, so we'll see you guys in San Francisco. We're trying to find a place to park because we don't have luck parking anywhere. The Jess bus is too big for the majority of parking garages. Let's see what we can find. Six foot eight inches. That is a no-go for the Jess fan bus. Seven foot six. Oh, we're good. Yes, we're in. We found a parking structure that fits us. It's probably like twice the price though. Is this like, are we allowed to park here? Is this public parking? Yeah. Is it? It looks like hotel parking or something. Hey, I got a ticket. <laughs> All right, we're in, we're in. First we couldn't find parking. Now my sunglasses broke. Things are going great. They're really going great. It's okay, we're good. We're gonna power through. We found parking. I didn't like these ones anyway. We're supposed to go on a boat ride. We already missed the first departure because we couldn't find parking. And so now we're hoping that they're gonna let us on to the next departure, which they should. It's all an adventure, right? It's all an adventure. We made it barely with like 15 minutes to spare, but I guess that's not very barely. I think we did okay. I recommend this place. Let's see, for the red and white fleet. They let us just board the next one because we missed that one, so 
We got lucky. We're gonna go on our boat ride and have some fun. Hey, have you guys been on a boat before? Nope. Um, yeah. You've been on a boat? Opa's I know. Boat, but we weren't oh, Opa's it. boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been on a big boat like this? I don't think I've ever been on a really big one. <gasps> You guys, it's your first time on a boat. Are you excited? Yeah. It didn't even occur to me that this is their first time. I was asking Tyson that. Yeah, I've been on a big boat before. I want to take you guys on a big, big, big boat. The cruise. So you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. The way I do, the way I do will knock you down. If we're allowed to jump out and swim back. The answer was yes, in case you're wondering. So, holy crazy hair, that is windy up there. But it was fun, did you guys have fun? Mommy, I don't wanna swim. You don't wanna swim back? Are you sure? We forgot your floaties, huh? You and I will walk, they can swim. Okay? <laughs> we're just kidding, baby, we're not swimming. We're not gonna swim back, we're just kidding. They have floaties if you wanna get floaties, we'll all just swim back. It's not that far, I mean, maybe, maybe 100 feet. Just kids. One, two, three, four. You're five. Four. You're four. Oh my god, okay, now I'm just confused. That was a fail. We just got off the boat. It was a lot of fun. Super windy, but a lot of fun. What's it? This is a famous, what, bread place? Uh, sourdough. 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 <laughs> bread place. All I know is it's like a thing here. So we're gonna take the kids in here. They have some really cool, I'm gonna show you what it is. Come on. They've got some really cool things in here. They don't believe me. They think we're just walking into a bread store and it's boring. I promise, guys, it's cool. Let's go see it. Look at that. It's real bread. Those are bread. I told you it was cool. You don't believe it? It is, I swear to you. We'll go buy one, how about that? Yeah, yeah. he doesn't think it's bread. He doesn't believe us. All right, we're gonna do a taste test here. We got one huge crocodile. Sourdough bread shaped like a crocodile. And then we got one Pop-Tart. This is our trick. This was Big Caden's idea, and I didn't realize how big it was until after they already rung it up. So I was like, okay, I hope you guys like sourdough. And this one's is, mine. This is the Pop Tart. They just had to have it in the front of the line. It looks bomb.com. Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Tastes good. Smart guy, smart guy. He's getting the middle. No. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? Now for this huge alligator. Let's see. Let me show you guys. We don't typically buy sourdough at our house, so I don't know. Maybe that's weird, but look at this thing. It's huge. Mom, could you? We're all gonna try some of it. Me? You wanna rip the head off for you? Yeah. Let me take a picture of you guys. Okay. But first. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry, Mommy, Mr. Alligator. Good. Rest in peace, Mr. Alligator. What should we name him out of respect? Larry. Larry. Rest in peace, Larry the Alligator. That's the mommy alligator of Larry. Addy found the baby. Is that the dad dad, Addy? It's a daddy one? Yeah, it's a daddy one. Barely big enough, but you're still big enough. Oh, down she goes. He seems very happy, huh? Are you ready to explore some more of San Francisco? Yeah. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go explore.
So when we went to Hollywood and we had that video went viral actually of ours of the lady who like harasses for money in the streets in Hollywood. People were saying, oh, that happens everywhere. And like, that's why I was so not used to this because San Francisco people are not like that. People do not like harass you for money. Yeah, they're they're like, fun. yeah, they're fun and entertaining. And if you don't have money, it's not a big deal. Look at guys, I just stand it. That guy didn't beg for money. He earned money. That's the difference. All right, come on guys, let's watch. They took your computer, that's it. They, they took my computer? They left your wallet, they took the diaper bag and the computer. They took the diaper bag and left my wallet? Yeah. The GoPro's still here. The my, drone? My drone is still here. Jesus, they're bad coolers, huh? They took your laptop and they took the diaper oh, bag. Laptop. They took stay the diaper back, bag. Stay back. What else is in there? memory card I own. Hey, you guys come stand over here and leave mom and dad alone for a minute. Oh, I'm here. But why would they pull my wallet out? They pulled out, left it? They pulled out my wallet and left it and took Whoa. the diaper bag and the hey, laptop. Hey, 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 hold. What? You can track your laptop right now. I have to find my Mac. And I can restore, it has a password on it and I can restore it, but everything on it I'm gonna lose. Most of it's on YouTube. Call the cops. But we can track your laptop. Okay, we'll find, we'll try it. Oh. Hi, my car was broken into. I didn't see the person, but the car was a Civic. I didn't catch the license plate. We're right in front of the Ghirardelli Square. Um, I have no idea. We're not from here. Uh, we're, I, I literally saw the car and I couldn't make, I have no idea. I just saw people on the other side of it. So by our vehicle and we were like, what the heck are they doing? We didn't think anything of it at the time and so afterwards we're realizing what they were doing in front of it. How do we get home? What do you mean, how do we get home? Me and we'll just, um... There's glass everywhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll sweep, sweep it, out. it out. It's mostly in the front. It's right? all in the front. Yeah. All the kids will be fine. You can either try to sit there or you can sit in the back. And... It's just gonna how be cold. You... Okay, how do you lock it? Lock the Mac. Yeah, lock it. I'm not getting it back. I'll lock and erase everything. Lock. Did they take your computer? Yeah, they took my computer. It's okay. I'll go buy a new one. Maybe you stopped from getting more. That's what I was thinking. Either that or somebody else said something. Yeah, right, right. Otherwise, they would have taken more than that. They didn't just come for a laptop. That's the first thing they saw. Did they climb in or did they open the door? I saw that they climbed in. So if you break the window, the alarm doesn't go off. What the? There's such a public area. Uh, well, our car was broken into, obviously, if you haven't figured that out by now. You know, we have to 
drive home for two hours with no window. Yeah, I say we stop and get a garbage bag and some tape and okie tape. You know what? <laughs> Here's a story really quickly before we leave. We got out of the car and walked across the street. Literally, we're sitting right here. Yeah, but then we're walking, trying to figure out where to go, and a car pulls up next to our car, turns their hazards on, and is just sitting next to our car. We all walk over here to see what they're doing. So I like walk up on the side right here, and I'm like, what are they doing? Because I see feet behind my car. I literally see this freaking person people there was more than one there was probably three i think i saw three people at least two so i walk up here let me just show you guys where we're at we're in garrett square we're standing right here the car pulls up next to us right here turns its hazards on i'm right here i see that someone's turned their hazards on and i see people and so i walk all the way to right here then chris is like what are you doing and i was like i don't know i don't know i just got like a weird feeling and so i was like whatever and i turned around my back stupid stupid i should have went with my gut i should have freaking went with my gut. The car has had its hazards on. That's probably what they were thinking. Immediately after, another car pulls up behind it. And then we just walked back that way because we were like, there's tons of cars parked. Now there's not, there, but there's cars parked all the way here. Like we figured there, and there's a stop sign right here. So we thought that something was just happening. Just always go with your gut. Oh my God. So anyway, so then we go inside, we eat, we come back out, come over to the car. Chris gets here first. He's like, our car was broken into, but they took almost nothing. They took my $3,000 laptop, but minus that, they took my diaper bag, which didn't have my wallet in it, and it has, I think, nothing. I think it has nothing in it. It might have memory cards in it, and it has, no, I shouldn't say nothing. It has a ton of my camera batteries, but, like, not my phone. I mean, we're so lucky. The Mac, I can erase, and I think everything updated to iCloud, so I probably didn't lose anything, hopefully. Um, but it was sitting right next to our GoPro, the drone, all these very, my wallet, all these very expensive items. So I think what happened is that car just stopped and the other car came up behind it and they said something and they left. That had to be what happened because they would have taken, it was literally all right next to each other. So they didn't have time to grab all that stuff. They just grabbed my computer, grabbed my diaper bag and left. So that's what happened. We're, so, oh my God, we're so lucky. Like at first my heart dropped, but like we're so lucky that they didn't take more. All of my stuff is always in that diaper bag and they grabbed that diaper bag. My purse is still there too. And your purse is still there. Everything we literally got like earlier we took everything because yeah. we were using it But now we were just stopping to get ice cream and then we we're coming back like Given the circumstances this could have been a lot yeah. worse regardless we still have a broken window to our car So we have to go file our car insurance and how not to mention where do we freaking put the thing go get it fixed tomorrow Now I can't work on my video on the way home. That's a bummer. <laughs> my video today is already up my video tomorrow is already done and uploaded So really this is weird that never happens. My battery's about to die and I don't have a replacement. So I guess that's gonna be it. We're gonna end it here, guys. We'll see you guys in our next video to be continued. Other than that, it was fun, I have to add. Other than that, today was fun. Oh, is everybody okay? Yeah. Are you guys okay? A little shooken? Shooken up, but I'm sorry if I scared you guys. Not a chicken, shooken. Okay guys, we're gonna go home. I'll update when I can. Bye.